welcome to Greg Plays Games, the YouTube channel where we play mainly Nintendo games, mainly Animal Crossing. Today's video is just a speed build because I struggled to record this past week, so this is actually from uh, the week before. This is kind of some old footage. I think this was filmed right after last week's video. Uh, this, I believe, is actually probably the last bit of footage we'll spend decorating our neighborhood area. I just kind of wanted to do something with this spot. I wanted to do like a little garbage or like construction site area. It's kind of a mix between the two. I want to say the final product is different from what is actually on my island currently. Next week we'll definitely be getting, actually probably completing the museum section because I already have the footage recorded for that. But I really wanted to talk about what to expect in the future from Animal Crossing because Nintendo's been pretty quiet. We're used to getting some news once a month. I think we will get something before May. Uh, I think I think we'll get a May update trailer. It'll probably cover the events. You got Nature Day, May Day, Museum Day. There's also a fishing tournament. So a pretty jam-packed month for Animal Crossing in May. I'm sure there'll also be some new bugs, fish, and, and diving creatures that come and go as well. But what I'm really interested in discussing today is what can we expect from Animal Crossing at E3, which I believe is in maybe the second week of June, at least I hope. I know it's some point in June, I, I can't remember the exact date off the top of my head. Insert date. So there's really only, I feel like, a few things we can really expect from here on out because it's been pretty obvious Nintendo just wants to recycle previously used mechanics and they're running out of them. I have a list of who's left and in no particular order. We have Harriet, who was the hairdresser. I don't think we're going to see her again. Lyle and Lottie, who are the happy home designer team duo. I just don't... I could see something. Uh, there was a 3DS game that was pretty focused on decorating homes and outside of homes. I did not play that game. I could see them maybe in a big update including something along those lines, but I the way the game is going, I just don't I just don't see that happening. We got Brewster, who everyone's been waiting for, Dr. Shrunk, who is also kind of deemed useless given the mechanics of this game. Katrina, who has made an appearance in the new Nook Link app, which I don't really see how they would implement her in the game in an interesting way. That being said, I feel like she is a likely character that they would include. Cooper and Booker, who in previous games were kind of the gatekeepers to your village area. I almost said island. I don't think it was necessarily an island in past games, though. And Captain. The turtle? I think he's a turtle. I think we're really looking at Brewster or Cap'n when it comes to E3. I don't think we get both, obviously, because they want to drag this whole year out with, with content. I think most likely it's Cap'n, but when I sat down and really thought about it, I just couldn't really figure out what function he would serve in this game. Because you already have the Dodo Airlines that takes you to your Mystery Islands, which is kind of what he did in previous games. So unless it's something crazy big that Captain does different, I don't really know what we would see from him. So I'm really thinking most likely when it comes to E3, we're going to finally get Brewster revealed because I think he's the NPC that most people have been waiting to hear about. People have been dying, myself included to just get that little coffee cafe in the museum. So I think in an E3 trailer, we can expect to see Brewster. I think that we'll be able to work at the coffee shop like in previous games. Hopefully they kind of extend it and flesh that out a little more. 
because I mean this is Nintendo's I don't think it's outsold Mario Kart 8 Deluxe but it's definitely on par with it I mean this is a huge game for Nintendo so they're not going to just let it dwindle this next year especially if they intend to have a Switch Pro announced at it as well which would maybe maybe affect this prediction. I didn't really take that into consideration, the Switch Pro, when thinking about this. But I think we're gonna see Brewster work at the coffee shop. I think we're gonna get gyroids along with Brewster. I just don't see us not getting those, especially since they were involved with Brewster in one way or another. I can't. It's been a while since I played some of the older games, and I'm not very refreshed, so I, I want to say that you did you did something with, with Brewster and, and, and the gyroids. But you dig those up, like you would do fossils, and I would love to dig something up other than fossils and bunny day eggs. I think we'll also see some Legend of Zelda items, very much akin to what we saw with Mario. I like Zelda, but it's really hard to be excited about more items in the game. I mean, they'll be cool, but we already have so many items that I just don't really feel that excited about that. So hopefully we do get something about Brewster. I, I mean, there is a scenario in which E3 kind of just has the Zelda items and, that, and that's all we hear from Animal Crossing, but as big of, of an event E3 is and at how quiet news on Animal Crossing has been currently I think it's I think it's time for some big news something more along the lines of the past updates we've seen let me know what you guys think we'll see from Animal Crossing at E3 in the comments I'm excited to hear some of your thoughts all of you, all you viewers, if this is the first video you've seen, which hopefully it is, don't forget to subscribe if you like the content. Uh, if you're not sure if you like the content, check out some previous content. Maybe it'll be a, maybe it'll be a good way for you to get an introduction to the channel. That's all I have today. Thank you for checking out the video. Leave me that comment, what you think we'll see from Animal Crossing at E3. Are you excited? Are you still playing the game? If you're watching the video, chances are you probably are still playing it. Like I said, next week, I'll have a more exciting video where we're doing a little bit more than decorating, a little speed build decorating. Actually, it probably will be a speed build decorating, but it'll be of a new area because we've spent a lot of time on this, on this section. With that, I will leave you with some tasty tunes from the Animal Crossing franchise. Actually, before I go, I feel like this game has the worst music in, in the franchise. Let me know what you think about that take. Thanks for checking out the video. Peace out.